This past October, Frontline aired a documentary called League of Denial. This was based on a book written by Mark and Steve Fanaru by the same name. In this book, they explore the dangerous link between football and brain injuries. Much of the book centers around Dr. McKee's research in Boston University. However, high quality research at Purdue and Virginia Tech suggests that subconcussive hits those everyday impacts sustained by athletes adds up in the long term and are more likely to cause CTE. These researchers use special helmets to measure the force at each hit, in addition to cognitive tests and MRIs to collect their data. They suggest football teams use a hit count, much like baseball players use a pitch count. The NFL has limited their hitting practice based on this research as a preventative measure against subconcussive damage to the brain. A doctoral student at Purdue University is developing a helmet that will reduce the g-force on the brain and hopes that our military and athletes will be better protected against violent head injuries. So, what does all this have to do with Newton? Inertia. An object's resistance to change, speed, or direction. Let's say you're traveling in a car at 20 miles per hour. The car and your body are both traveling 20 miles per hour. If the car makes a sudden stop, you are still traveling 20 miles per hour until another force acts to stop you. Let's hope it's your seatbelt. The same thing happens to your brain when you head a soccer ball, tackle a running back, or check a center in a hockey game. 